Hi, my name is Mara Lee, and I have the privilege of being the founder and president of the Rushing to Yoga Foundation. I'm excited that you are here with me, and I'm excited that you may be interested in learning more about what we do at Rushing to Yoga Foundation, in particular, in learning about the Love Curriculum, aka Integrative Inquiry, if you're from higher education or some place that likes to think a lot. <laughs> so I've been asked to share a little bit about who I am. And actually, that's a difficult question for me to answer. It's probably easier for me to answer in terms of who I was and what I do for a living to pay the bills. So I will answer in that, knowing that's not exactly who I am. So I uh, have the privilege of being a professor in higher education and my past research, current research, I'm segueing, is in the evaluation of student learning and development. So I've had the opportunity to talk about how students in higher education and adults learn and how they develop and how well we know that. So it's framed in an accountability conversation. In that practice, in that practice of evaluating how students learn and how they develop, and in the framework of accountability so that we could show that we're being very responsible, that this design of learning and development is contributing to this sort of result, and this is how we know that, this is how we can measure it, this is how we can identify it. It was in that practice that I realized that I was privileging only one inquiry mode. And that inquiry mode was the mode of the intellect. I realized that I was sort of becoming a modern day physician in the Western world and that what we were trying to do was fix some part of the way that somebody might learn and, and tweak it so that they could learn even more and develop even more in a particular aspect because our measurement tools are limited. We could measure mathematic knowledge or English composition or speech and debate. And what we were trying to do was get these measurement tools down enough so that we could tweak the whole design and experience, the learning and development experience of the student. And in that I forgot that there were human beings <laughs> learning math, learning biology, learning art. And these human beings had feelings around what they were learning, they had body sensations about what they were discovering. And there is this whole aspect of who they believe they are and are becoming that's carrying into the classroom with them. And none of the assessment designs that I was coaching people to create were being mindful of that. Sorry. <laughs> so it's why we created the integrative inquiry aspect of the Rushing to Yoga Foundation, the love curriculum, because what we were discovering is that if one does not know who one is or who one is becoming, if I don't know who I am or who I am becoming, and you want me to learn a particular algorithm so that I can become an accomplished physicist or computer engineer or even the algorithms of music, if I don't know who I am and who I am becoming, then all you're really going to ever be able to assess is the knowledge, the, pardon the expression, the regurgitation of what I have memorized. But if what you really want me to do is talk about how I embody these aspects of knowing and include my intuition aspect, the peace, the spirit peace, if you will, the emotional intelligence aspect of the expression of that knowing. If that's what you really want to evaluate, then actually me 
as the human being, I'm really the only one who can evaluate that. But I have to be taught how. I have to be taught how to become mindful of who I am in relationship to that which you're asking me to learn, in relationship to that which you're asking me to express what I do know or do not know. And it was that part of the curriculum that we realized was missing. That we were privileging all of this knowing aspect, the measurement, the testing aspect, out of and away from who the student is and how they're making meaning of this learning experience. And so I asked myself, well, how do we become accountable for that? I, as a teacher, can't become accountable for what you do or do not learn in the sense of how you make meaning out of it and how you apply it and how you express yourself through it. It's your responsibility. So I can role model that, though. I can role model that in the creation of the integrative inquiry aspect of learning and development. So yeah, I'm supposed to get back to who I am. I'm learning who I am. I'm learning who I am in relationship to you. In relationship to what you believe, what you think, what you know to be true. How you apply that in your daily life or in our work life. And it's a constant exciting evolutionary change. So I'd love for you to join me in this journey. Join us in a collective discovery of who each one of us is and who we are becoming and how we can each take responsibility for that. And in so doing, we can create a system of accountability that begins with one. Namaste.